Alright, last time on Pokemon Fire Red. At last, we finished the Sevi Islands, including all the stuff that, if you just have a cart of Pokemon nowadays, you're probably never going to be able to play it. But, there is a little more time for uh, one final challenge. It's been ages since we've been to Cerulean, but... There is one more thing here that we haven't covered. Now, this piece of bonus content was actually in the original game. In fact, I think it's pretty much the only uh, bonus content in the original Red, Blue, Yellow, right? Yeah. Because uh, that game didn't even have... Um, the Elite Four Champion refight, which I'm not covering, A, because it makes no sense that Hotaru is no longer the champion. Nobody fought her for the title. Hideki went home and we'll never hear from him again. And B, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> They're very high level and very powerful. And they have Johto Pokemon. That's actually really interesting. Yeah, it's a good challenge if you actually want it. <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> the uh, Let's Go refight because there's no Johto Pokemon in that game. Uh, they use Alolan forms instead. That makes sense. And they always catch me off guard because, like... Ice-type Lorelei is using in Ninetales? Okay, I guess I'll get something that's strong against fire. Oh no, it was the... <laughs> Alolan Ninetales <laughs> of Ice-type! Ice oh darn. <laughs> I'm a fool! But yeah, since I'm not doing that, Cerulean Cave will be the last thing we cover. There was a huge variety of Pokémon that you could find in the original games. The list of Pokémon you can find now is a lot smaller. Uh, however, while it is mostly uh, Kanto Pokémon, Wobbuffet's down here. <laughs> that fucker. Just as an extra fuck you. Yeah, there's a, a, a weird amount of Pokemon that are only here. Like, Lickitung is only here. And I don't think Lickitung is actually in Fire Red. Lickitung is post-game content. Yep, and only if you're playing uh, the original game. Otherwise, Lickitung is elsewhere. But yeah, uh, it's pretty obviously just a maze up in here. Of course, you're going to need a Pokemon strictly for HM, so I hope you enjoy getting through the final challenge with a party of five Pokemon. Uh, and of course, we've seen most of the Pokemon... Uh, that are, appear here already, so <laughs> it's pretty much just trekking through this maze. The very distinct opening note of this song is not doing you any favors as far as editing goes. It's fine. Uh, there is, however, one Pokémon we've not collected yet, and that's Kadabra. <laughs> that fucker. Alas, not Alakazam. Would be nice if they just let you get the third form. Pokemon Sword does that. Like, there are just third tier Pokemon that normally need to be traded, uh, wandering the overworld. We still traded for those Pokemon anyway, but, like, you know, if you really want to, you can just get them. I prefer evolving Pokemon all the way if I can. Oh, yeah, same. They're a lot more useful like that, and just feel more special. Also, this is a weird Pokemon, uh, dex description. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, considering the weirdly specific, uh, dex entry, there's only one thing we can name this Kadabra. And that's TF Juice. So, since we've already seen Wobbuffet, and also, on certain floors, it's rare to see Wobbuffets. Uh, on the last one, it's actually only a 1% encounter rates. On the first floor, it's four. You were gonna say it's only lava fence. <laughs> it's only wa- To be fair, that would be like a Square Enix level final floor enemy placement. 
<laughs> Just the fucking war machine of uh, Pokemon. And so, here's our final legendary Pokemon. What's, uh, what's up with your colors? This is the genetic clone of the Pokemon Mew, Mewtwo. So, Mewtwo's level 70, so, you know, a lot stronger than most of us. Psychic type. Doesn't need Psychic to, uh, do some damage, though. And thankfully that paralyzed Mewtwo because Mewtwo's also got Safeguard. But as long as you get a status effect off before Safeguard goes up, uh, it's not like it gets erased or anything. But yeah, turn two, decided, mm, yeah, now's a good time. I forget if it would have outsped uh, Eevee Mame uh, had it not used Swift, but still. Oh boy, and there's the psychic damage. So, if you want to have a slightly better time catching a Mewtwo, I would suggest grinding a bit till, you know, maybe at least level 60, if not higher. But, uh, Mewtwo's at a pretty perfect amount of HP for catching, and since this is the last Legendary, we're gonna be going through the whole catching experience for this one. Hmm. Oh boy. So... Last episode, I gotta talk about um, Entei being a good Pokemon movie. Um, I don't like the first Pokemon movie as much, but I do really like uh, Mewtwo's characterization. Because they really didn't have to do that. Yeah, and it more or less defined Mewtwo as a character forever. Yeah. The only media that goes in, like, a different direction, I think, is, uh, Pokemon Adventures. Or Mewtwo is basically the same level of intelligence as every other Pokemon. But it's still fantastic because he is just Blair's stand. <laughs> nice. Also, is his name Blair or Blaine? I might be fucking up. Uh, Blaine, yeah. Yeah, Blaine. But I know who you mean. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I've told you about this. Uh, and that... Uh, manga, Blaine is a former Team Rocket scientist and he helped develop Mewtwo. Yep. So he just goes out to catch Mewtwo to write what went wrong. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, also worth noting, uh, Mewtwo does have recover. You better believe I had a whole lot of recordings that uh, kind of went south when that happened. <laughs> Many attempts were made in which. Mewtwo decided, you know what, I don't want to be injured anymore. Let me take one turn to remove that, and now I'm going to go back to murdering you. Yeah, if it weren't for, Jesus Christ, if, if it weren't for Raikou in this game, um, Mewtwo is what you use your Master Ball on. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much what the roaming legendaries are for, to make you waste your Master Ball, so that you have to do a legendary fight normally. In the original game, though, yeah, feel free, just use your Master Ball. It's a good idea. In Let's Go, the legendary fights, you have to fight the legendaries before you can catch them, but you don't have to, like, whittle them down. You just KO them normally, and then you use the normal catching minigame. Oh, I love that so much. That's a good compromise of just, hey, you still gotta fight them. With Mewtwo's, uh... I think this is only if you use the Master Ball, it might be if you use any Pokeball, but if you use the Master Ball at him, he will swat it away, and then it will curve around and hit him in the back. <laughs> nice. The Master Ball is too powerful. Mm hmm Uh, so, Paralysis really coming in handy here, considering I've mostly had a party wipe. I have one reasonably useful Pokemon, and then one Meat Shield and Spaghetti, but thankfully we managed to catch Mewtwo. <laughs> Spaghetti breathes a sigh of relief. <laughs> yeah, because Mewtwo's psychic, so like, the Nido branch is not going to have a good time. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so we're going to name Mewtwo... Nyan. Like non-bread, but, you know, like Nya. 
Hotaru has no respect for genetic experiments. <laughs> Alright, so that went well. Can you imagine being one of the scientists that made you two and presumably didn't die in this timeline? And you just see Hotaru walking around like, Hey, see my new Pokemon! He's going, Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> uh, also, fun fact, uh, way back when I did a non-com run of Pokemon Fire Red, uh, I wasn't doing the whole uh, food name gimmick. Uh, I was just, you know, naming them whatever. And so, I named Mewtwo, not in Smash. <laughs> <laughs> a very irrelevant name now. <laughs> I still enjoy Mewtwo not being in Smash jokes, though. My favorite being the one edit of the Toy Story scene. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, no, no, no. Buzz, look, Mewtwo! Where? <laughs> Greninja. <laughs> Alright, so I believe we're going through one last roundup of uh, Pokemon we've caught in the bonus episodes. Hearty truffle. What a what a good pill of swine. Adam and chickpea. Grave egg. Quiet donut. Grave, you know, these are also Metal Gear names. <laughs> Lonely TF juice. Yeah, if you know what TF Juice is, odds are you are pretty lonely. <laughs> I can't believe you've owned me like this. I can't believe you put a TF Juice joke in your fucking Let's Play. <laughs> You're expecting too much of me. Also, Jolly Neon, excuse me? Jolly Mewtwo! <laughs> yep, the Jolly Mewtwo. I love it. Every everyone knows that Mewtwo always has a good time. What an upbeat Pokemon. Even when he's happy, he looks so mad. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, uh, here's... Let's get Spaghetti out of our party, because... You know. HM users, alright, sure, yeah, whatever. I appreciate your work, Spaghetti, but at the same time... Boy, I wish I had at least one more useful Pokemon in that last battle. So, let's, uh, have one more look over all of our Pokemon. Because, uh, yeah, with Mewtwo caught, there's nothing else for us to do. Again, Hotaru's the champion. Hideki didn't get back in there. He's not there. We can't fight the Elite Four. Shut up. I do not want to fight an upgraded Lance. Or an Agatha, for that matter. Upgraded Agatha scares me. I forgot that in your main party there were two Pokémon that weren't fully evolved because you weren't willing to figure out net play. I'll never get VBA... the connecty one. I'm pretty sure there's a branch of VBA that does, uh, link cable stuff, but, eh. Huh. Yeah, I just use Retroarch now, and I think all Retroarch stuff is, um, like, internet compatible. Alright, so, where else would we go in the end other than Pallet Town? Got a good song for the end, you know? Nice and peaceful. Hideki's still not home for some reason. Not that he's at the Elite Four or anything. And we're gonna groom Gato. Not that there's much to groom on that bod. But also, Gato did kind of come for through for us in the end. Just was there when we caught Mewtwo. Extremely in harm's way. Because one Psychic probably would have taken her out. Actually, no, Guaranteed would have taken her out. And here's our final count for Pokemon. Professor Oak is impressed.
111 <laughs> Pokemon out. Nope, not filling that out. Mom, why don't you ever talk about anything other than quick rests? Mom, please, I could just go to the Pokemon Center. Mom, look at my very powerful Pokemon. Actually, to be fair, most of them are pretty low-leveled. I wish he had unique dialogue if you brought Mewtwo in. <laughs> it was just the mage's dialogue from Chrono Trigger. <sighs> Never did get to use Sludge Bomb. It's a great move, I swear just has zero availability in story content in Fire Red. Here's Eevee Mame, at a disgusting level 50, way above most of my other party, because electricity is just real good in this game. Here's Char. You know him, you love him, it's Char, he's an Arcanine. Char Arcanine, yeah, that's his name. Char Azka Nine, that doesn't work. And here's old Turtle Misu. Been with us the entire time. Has body slammed so many other Pokemon. And even managed to be a higher level than Eevee which is impressive in its own right. So, uh, with that, that's, uh, the end of Pokemon Fire Red, so... I think we'll be ending here, and... Hotaru can go off and do whatever it is she's going to do. Which seems to be playing video games and taking a nap. She'll get to eat, finally. She's been hungry this whole let's play. Good night, Hotaru. See you next time for whatever I do next.